Good morning, student. Today we will continue our second chapter, solution, colligative properties. So first we define this colligative property. The properties of solution, which depends on number of solute particles, irrespective of their nature. That means those property which depends on numbers of atoms, molecules or ion that added to the solvent. In respect to their nature, that means their size, shape, whether they are carrying positive charge, whether they are carrying negative charge. So ignore all the structural aspects, their sizes, their charges, only depends on their numbers called colligative properties so in this chapter we talk about four colligative properties one is rlvp that is relative lowering of vapor pressure evp that is your elevation in boiling point dfp that is your depression in freezing point and op that is your osmotic pressure so first we talk about the relative lowering of vapor pressure from all four colligative property, we give a hint here. Idea about this, how they work. If we add some impurity externally, suppose we have a 500 ml water in a glass, in a glass, and if we have a one teaspoon of salt in it, that means we add some solute particle in form of table salt then what is what would be the effect on these colligative properties we observe there is a lowering in vapor pressure we observe there is an increase in boiling point of water that means the water normal water boils at 100 degrees Celsius then after adding one teaspoon of salt it boils temperature at 100, 100 and 2, 101 like that. Depression in their freezing point, it can understand by taking example like that. Normal water is freeze at 0 degrees Celsius or so 273 Kelvin. But after adding 1 teaspoon of salt, it may freeze in some negative celsius like minus one degree celsius minus two degree celsius okay next one is osmotic pressure that is your op so osmotic pressure will also increases So we study each and every colligative property but before, before going on this we have to understand a basic thing is that increase in boiling point on adding impurity we already talked about this that if we add some impurity in form of solute or salt it will always it will always it will always lower down the vapor pressure so you can see here what is the reason behind it that why boiling point get increases can you tell me about the definition of boiling point can you tell me about the definition of boiling point some of the little students show or tell me about the definition of boiling point that the temperature at which water boils it is not a perfect definition of boiling point the correct and plus two standard definition of boiling point is that the temperature at which at which vapor pressure of liquid become equal to become equal to Uh, 
atmospheric pressure so this is a boiling point so what is the reason behind increase in boiling point on adding impurity effective surface area will also decrease you can see here if we add some solute particle in a pure water then some of the salt particle occupy na plus or cl minus occupy the surface and reduce the effective surface area for the vaporization and because the surface area for vaporization is decreases there is a there is less vapor form exit less vapor pressure so there is a lowering in vapor pressure and if the vapor pressure is get lower then we have to heat up this solution more and more to equalize it to one atm that is your atmospheric pressure so always remember that that pure solvent always have vapor pressure greater than solution that means after adding some solute you obtain a solution here so vapor pressure of pure solvent is always greater than solution that can denoted by p not is greater than p not p come to the next so the mathematical expression for the vapor pressure you can see here first property colligative property that is relative lowering of vapor pressure from the observation we observe that the lowering in vapor pressure is directly proportional to the amount of solute added and the amount of solute is denoted by xb that is your mole fraction of solute b okay if we eliminate this proportionality sign then we have to put a constant that is p not a that is vapor pressure of pure solvent okay so what about the lowering so lowering in vapor pressure is equal to vapor pressure of pure solvent minus vapor pressure of the solution so what we got p not a minus p a upon p not a is equal to xb we extend this xb then what we got we got a final formula here so various numerical can form of this formula we talk about it on our, our next lecture Come to the next is your elevation and boiling point. We already said that on adding impurity, there is a lowering in vapor pressure and increase in boiling point. So if the vapor pressure get lower, then boiling point will also increases. Okay. Suppose normal water that means solvent has in having, you can see, you can understand this colligative property by using this graph. Solvent show the boiling point at tp note if we add some impurity and make it to solution then it show boiling point at tb that means in higher kelvin and the difference between these two temperature is called elevation that means increase in boiling point elevation means increase in boiling point so this is your difference and it is a increase in your boiling point after adding before adding impurity solvent pure solvent has a boiling point tv not while after adding impurity solution has a boiling point tv and the difference is called delta t so if we find the expression for this delta tv that is your elevation in boiling point or increase in boiling point is equal to kbm kbm kb is your molar elevation constant or ebullioscopic constant and may defined as the increase in boiling point observed when concentration of solution is taken to be one molar that means one mole per liter per kg that is your definition of kb and so what about the unit of this kb delta tb has the unit kelvin and molarity has a unit mole per kg so the unit of kb is kelvin kilogram mole inverse if we extend this molality then what we got delta tv delta tv as such kb kb as such m means weight of solute divided by molar mass of solute 
multiply with the thousand and wa that is your mass of solid this is this all are come from the formula of molality that we already talked in class 11 if you have any doubt you can go for the class 11th uh, chapter number first chemistry in some basic concept of the chemistry from our slide section come to the next that is your depression in freezing point so freezing point of a solvent can be depressed or decreases artificially by adding some salt in it okay you all, all are having all are at the kulfis kulfi are made by lower down the by lower down the fridging point of that ice or that water you can see here kulfi maker use this colligative property to achieve a hard and cold kulfi you can see here solution having freezing point always get up that means a solvent is always having higher freezing point suppose if you take the example of water normal water has a freezing point that is shown by blue lines normal water has a solvent that has a freezing point that is tf naught that is 0 degree celsius or 273 kelvin while solution has a freezing point less than less than 0 degree that is shown by that line the light okay so you can see the difference that is called depression in freezing point delta tf is equal to tf minus t not f that is your freezing point of solution and this is freezing point of pure solvent so what we got the same expression is that just like a elevation and boiling point you just change the b the subscript with the help of f you got <coughs> the expression for freezing point so there is a kf that is uh, called molar depression constant or cryoscopic constant cryoscopic term is comes from cryopreservation that is things to store uh, at low temperature that is called cryogenic storage or cryogenic preservation that's why we called it cryoscopic constant okay the same unit of kf is there kelvin kilogram mole inverse as similar to kb but the definition is different how we define this kf the depression in freezing point observed when the concentration of solution is taken to be one molar come to the next and final colligative property that is your osmotic pressure so how we define this osmotic pressure the pressure which is just required to stop the passage of solvent molecule move from through sphere as we all know that water molecule is move from high to low concentration that means concentration gradient is always from high to low concentration two solutions are there a and b two solutions are there a and b you can see here in this diagram this is your hypotonic solution hypo means there is low concentration of solute for hypertonic that means there is a high concentration of solute and low concentration of solvent there is a high concentration of solvent and low concentration of solute i repeat again hypotonic means hypo and hyper term are used for showing quantity of solute hyper means high quantity of solute hypo means low quantity of solute okay so if solution having 
low quantity of solute then it must have high quantity of solute and if a solution having high quantity of solute then it must have low quantity of solvent so solvent is moved solvent is moved from high to low quantity that means the direction of movement of water is from hypo to hypotonic always this is your this is your carried out by osmotic pressure if you define this osmotic pressure then how we define is the opposite force is applied from that side to prevent to prevent the entry of water molecule from hypo to hypotonic that is called osmotic pressure okay so we can define is easily the excess pressure that must be applied to a solution side to prevent osmosis is called osmotic pressure that is represented by pi pi is equal to mtr that means crt the same thing is there mtr or crt m that means molarity c means concentration of molarity C that means your mole per liter, R is your universal gas constant having value 0 0.0821 liter ATM mole inverse per Kelvin and T is your temperature in Kelvin. So C is your concentration in mole per liter that is N by V. If we accept this N then it's a WB upon MB. We already talk about it. Come to the next. These are the different kind of solution which are based on concentration of solute if two solutions are having same concentration of solute and solvent then they are called isotonic solution and for the isotonic solution there is if there is a pi 1 and there is a pi 2 then pi 1 pi 2 both are having same values as similar hypotonic and hypotonic i have already discussed about it this middle line is called spm semi permeable the basic difference between diffusion and osmosis is SPM is of SPM semi permeable memory is always present if you talk about the osmosis or reverse osmosis but in case of diffusion there is no requirement of this SPM semi permeable memory the basic difference is comes or arises from this one so diffusion is different from osmosis because of this SPM semi permeable membrane which may be a natural or artificial this is your homework to find what material can be used as a natural semi spm or one and what material can be used as a artificial spm okay auspices already have a various applications okay in case of transportation of water in plants and animals but in case of reverse osmosis is a another term that is practically utilized in most of the countries which are surrounded by saline water sea water so reverse osmosis play a very important role to obtain a pure water from saline water you can see here the assembly, assembly is like that the saline water is compressed by a piston with the help of pressure and osmosis there is a force is applied against the concentration gradient that means tendency of that pure water is to move towards the osmotic pressure is run osmotic pressure is work towards the saline water but by applying external pressure we reverse the direction of that osmotic pressure that is called that's why it's called reverse osmosis In the presence of external pressure the movement of solvent particle from low to high generally in absence of p external is become high to low but in case of p external is there it made movement of solvent particle from low to high concentration of solvent is called reverse osmosis so reverse osm osmosis can be used to obtain pure water from saline water so this is all are about your colligative properties and reverse osmosis and its application tomorrow i will extend this chapter and solve some numerical section i will provide some questions also here from today's lecture so you have to solve each and every question okay and see these answers thoroughly first you have to 
try to find the answers if you don't go get them then go for the answer section so have a nice day let's just save at your own